Take two. Take two. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't know that. <laughs> Cheers. Welcome back to Leah's Wine or Whispering Wine on mm -hmm. Facebook. And Sharon, welcome back to Sharon. Hi. Thank you for being here, Sharon. Yay. I We've love been talking here. all evening and we finally decided to do, to do the vlog. So tonight's vlog is a little bit different. It's about wines in the supermarket because I get asked all the time about what should I buy this weekend? What's mm. in the shops? What's good value for money? Um, what would you recommend to go with lamb, pork, beef, chicken, vegan food? But anyway, we're each having our own wine tonight, aren't we? So yes. I'm having a white wine and Sharon's having a red wine. So I'm actually having an American wine. In oh. your honour, every time you come I have an American wine. Which one? So I am having a wine, um, it's called Kung Fu Girl. <laughs> I'm, halfway down, I'm halfway down the That's bottle great. already. Yeah, Kung Fu Girl. This is from Columbia Valley in Washington. How cool is that label? That's fantastic. Yeah, it's a Riesling. Um, and I'm really excited because I'm going to do a big wine fair on Tuesday and the producers of this wine are going to be there. <gasps> I can't wait to speak to them. Yes. Oh, maybe they're not there. No, they are. Oh, 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 sorry. It's a different producer from Columbia Valley. Maybe it's not them. Anyway, one of them is there. <laughs> See, I've had too much Kung Fu Girl. <laughs> too much. Anyway, so I want, want to talk about um, what's in the shops at supermarkets at the moment. Mm. So... Most people I know buy supermarket wine. Mm -hmm. You buy supermarket wine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've just given Char um, Sharon this book. It's the best uh, supermarket <laughs> wine, 2018. Sorry. Worth, worth the uh, look at. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to know what you can get for your money at the moment, or what's good and what's worth buying. And it covers all the supermarkets. Um, I'm not getting paid for promoting this, but I'm just letting you know. <laughs> so I've been around the supermarkets the last few days just to see what's in and... The end of January is here. Well, no, it's February now, but um, dry January is over. It wasn't very dry for me. <laughs> it wasn't dry for you. Well, it was. It was dry wine. I didn't, <laughs> dry. I didn't have any sweet wine, so it was totally dry, <laughs> dry for me. Um, so I wanted to have a, a look, a, a chat about what's around and what's a good value for money, because there's lots of sales still on. Um, so today I was at Aldi, mm -hmm. and that's where that's from, isn't yes. it? Yes. So Sharon has um, bought, bought this wine. I brought this wine tonight, and it's uh, what's it called? Earth's experience. Is that experience? Essence. Whoops. <laughs> She's got her glasses on. I don't. I'm blind. I'm blind as a bat. Earth's essence. Earth's essence. And it is a no added sulfite and no added oh preservative mm -hmm. wine. Because I'm so, trying these out now. I yeah. tried Sainsbury's, so organic wine, which is fantastic. You really have to. Right. And, uh, and that's Shiraz. You know, I've just seen this. I never used to see wines that had no sulfites just being sold in regular supermarkets. And do you like it? I'm seeing it now. I like it. Great. Was and an Aldi I one. liked Sainsbury's as well. And that was an Aldi one, yeah. How yeah. much was it? Can you remember? The one at Sainsbury's, I can't remember. It was something like six, seven pounds. Okay. And this one was about seven pounds, six, seven pounds. So it's just okay. about the same price. Mm -hmm. And I love it. I think it's fantastic. Good. Mm. So if you want to cut down your wines, uh, your sulfite levels in wines, your SO2 levels, then go and buy Earth's Essence from Aldi, six or seven pounds. Okay, so while we're on Aldi, let's stick with it. Okay. Um, I've been there today, like I said. Um, Aldi do a range called Exquisite, the Exquisite range, and they have quite a lot of wines in that range. They've got a Freeman's B, which is a Marlborough Sauvignon Blanc. I haven't got anything to show you. Um, it's okay. It's all right. Um, as Marlborough Sauvignon Blancs go, it's a bit, you know, I think it's about £5.25. Um, so it's good value for money. Um, this is great. This is called, this is a Cremant de Jura. This is 7 99 So we talked in previous vlogs about Cremant and how it's made and it's it's similar, you know, it's, it's made in the, the same method as champagne. This should be uh, it's probably 100% Chardonnay, but the rules of the Appalachian say it needs to be 90%. It could have Trosso or it could have Pinot Noir in it as well, but it's probably 100% Chardonnay. Um, it's really nice. It's really refreshing. Um, $7.99, good alternative to Prosecco. So if you're going for some bubbles this weekend, I would definitely try this over a five or six pound Prosecco from Asda. Definitely worth your money. Um, Cremant de Jura as well. So it's a cool climate, very, very cool um, in the Jura. 
and um, also from Aldi they do in this exquisite range this is a Riesling from the Clare Valley, Valley as you can see it's so empty um, I actually use some of it for cooking, <laughs> cooking. <laughs> this is about a week old or so so it's not bad you know it's not but it's not a bad Riesling it tastes of what an Australian Riesling kind of I guess should taste of it tastes of like limes and um you know when you open a box of tennis balls mm -hmm. it has that rubber smell okay that's what it smells like it doesn't taste like that but that's a kind of a you know a Australian Riesling type smell that that's doesn't sell it for me <laughs> yeah well it's white you don't really like it white do you um, they have a Malbec as well like, which okay. I don't have because nobody sends me any wine I have to buy them myself but anyway I do this for the love of wine um, they have a Malbec from the Uko Valley which is a similar price 629 630 and that's that's I think that's a really good Malbec okay um, and it's worth going and having a, a taste of it they also do a Le de Valley Sauvignon Blanc. Mm -hmm. They do a Tohan from France, which is a Loire Sauvignon Blanc. All around the same price, and it's all in the exquisite range. Um, and it's it's worth going and buying these wines um, if you want something nice for the weekend. The other deal I got at Aldi. God, it's all about Aldi tonight. Mm -hmm. um, I got a I got a, a Burgundy. I got a Burgundy, which is this. This is. I think it's reduced. Um, but it was in. It wasn't in the wine aisle. It was in the you know the random aisle. Mm -hmm. The random discounted stuff. Yes. This is a, a Chory Le Bon, um, and this is an Appalachian that's next to the town of Bon in the Côte d'Or, well the Côte de Bon, um, in Burgundy, um, just under the Côte de Nuit. So this is this this particular Appalachian doesn't have any Premier Cruise or Grand Cruise. Um, and, and this should be, it should taste of raspberries and cherries and it should taste mm. nice and light. Tans should be light, acidity, nice acidity should be like kind of low acidity, low to medium acidity. It should be very smooth wine. This right. is a tenor. So this is a really good value red wine for the weekend. Um, Pinot Noir. Oh, um, like obviously. Pinot Noir. Yeah, so it's, it's lovely and it's 30%, 13% alcohol level. Chory Le Bon. Um, there it is, it's 2015. So 2015 in Burgundy um, mm -hmm. was a great year. A lot of the wines are still quite closed down and I wouldn't drink this for at least another year. So you'd hold it? Yeah, I'd drink that next okay. year. I mean, if, at a tenner you can, you can afford to drink it now, <laughs> basically. But it'll be better next year, so we'll buy a couple put away for next year or the year after. Um, 2015 is a, it was I a can't fantastic imagine having, vintage. I vintage. can't imagine having bottles of wine and not drinking them. Having them sit there. I just can't. Maybe in my garage. The discipline. <laughs> that would be like, put a cheesecake in my refrigerator, but don't touch it. Mm. Put a donut, a Krispy Kreme. Yeah, but if don't someone said it. to you, this is going to be, this tastes good now, Sharon, but it's going to taste amazing next year. You totally wouldn't touch it. Yeah, I would. Really? Yeah. I'd just buy a bare wine next year. <laughs> no, you would buy the old, you want to pay more money next year. I think after a few months, they start talking to you, don't they? They say, yeah. Open oh, me. <laughs> I want to be loved Do you want, you, by can have, you. you can have that one. No, no, no. He's just one. saying to me, doesn't it say to you, love me, open me now, don't wait a year. Love, love me do. You know I love you. Is that what they whisper from the corners of your room? <laughs> How many of you could wait a year and not open a bottle of wine? Oh my God, I could wait five years if it's worth it. Totally. We've got wine that's put away for, you know, five to ten years. And you just buy, what we do, the trick is you buy it every year, put it away so that every year you've got a stock of wine that's coming into, you know, Drinking. Mm. That's the that's that's the clue. Anyway, still with Aldi. Um, I bought this before Christmas um, in the Christmas okay. kind of build up. It's a Recciota della Valpolicello. A Recciota is <laughs> you're laughing at me. It's red. I'm sure you like it. It's red. I'm impressed by you being able to say the name. Okay, Recciota. Recciota, and it's it was a tenner or a thirteen pound, okay. ten or twelve pounds. Okay. I have bought it. Sis, it's sister today. For five pounds, the sale. Okay, so this is a Recciota. Recciotto de Suave. Okay, so this is a red one, Falpolcello. This is a Suave, white one. These are sweet wines and they're DOCG. These are well worth having. Um, they are made in the same process of um, Repasso. Okay. Falpolcello Repasso? No. Okay, so they're made with um, kind of semi dried grapes. The grapes are dried and they, the, the grapes concentrate all this amazing flavor um, and they they make sweet wines out of them that's a really quick and easy version of it so got that half price today and that was half price as well i was really gutted that i had full price for that in <laughs> december so really good bargain if you like sweet wines 
Sweet wines are really good with um, blue cheese and desserts that aren't sweet. So things like apple pie, rhubarb pie, um, fruit based desserts. And the beautiful, this is really concentrated peach and apricot flavors. And this will be, you know, you know, you deep plum and cherry flavors. I would, and, and, and they're, you know, they're of quality. There is a really good um, products. So we're going to leave Aldi behind because I'm sick of talking about Aldi now. What, now. Would you put this on the on the shelf? Would these be what I call tormenting wines? They torment you. They sit there. They look at you and say. Well, they wouldn't sit like that. They'd sit like that. Okay. <laughs> would they? Oh, yeah. They're Yeah, corked. always, 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 always. Hmm. Yeah, you can keep the sweet wines. These will these age. You know, you can keep these for years. You could keep these yeah. for years. <laughs> Sharon over there is not keeping these for years. But that's five I pounds have an apple right now. Pie in the refrigerator. Go and get that. It's five pounds. Well I'll keep you that just, one. I'll just take this. We'll take we'll the red one. I'll just that's take one. this. <laughs> I have an apple pie. And you're not having any because you you want to wait a year. Mm. No, you can have some of my apple pie. No, not for those. Drink them now. Like you can drink them anytime. Okay. You don't have to wait for those. So okay, that's Sorry. Aldi. That's Aldi. Aldi's doing pretty good with their wines right now. Um, they don't have anything exciting, you know, apart from the exquisite range and these Ricciotos um, and, the, and the Comontadura. Um, I'm going to talk about Little really quickly. Do you shop okay. at Little? Yes, every once in a while, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm quite a big Little fan. Okay. And I'm quite a big fan of German supermarkets, Little and Aldi, when it comes to wine, because they, they bring to the general market wines that we would never see elsewhere mm -hmm. um, in kind of one of the most supermarkets like Asta and like Tesco's and things. So I'm quite a fan of, I'm quite a fan of them and I'm quite, and sometimes they have some fantastic wines. I think, bloody hell, how have they got this wine for this price? Um, however, little this year. <laughs> no, I've been really, dis really disappointed. Christmas, I was really disappointed. Mm -hmm. The Comante Bourgogne that we've done a previous vlog on was sold out, you know, two weeks before Christmas or a week before Christmas. I tried, I was in Ireland, couldn't get in Ireland. Um, couldn't get it here. Mm -hmm. I found a lady in South Shields with six in her bot basket, and I was like, "Have you got any more?" And they were like, "No, she's got the last six. I went for when, for whatever. And they went, "Yeah." So I tried to get her to part with maybe two. She wouldn't do it. Um, when I went to Ireland, they had none in Ireland in um, Little. So even their baskets before Christmas, their fine wine baskets were empty. Mm. They're still empty. I was there two, two yesterday. The baskets are still empty. They've got nothing. And I spoke to the girl that was working in the wine aisle. And I said, well, when are you getting all your wine in? And she goes, well, what's in is in. I said, you've got nothing in your baskets. She goes, oh, they just get sent in as and when. They had nothing. Nothing was decent. They had the usual Barolo, £10 Barolos, the usual £8 Chianti's. Mm -hmm. um, but it was just... Nothing very special. No, shit. I've got to be honest, shit. So the only thing that's worth buying a little right now was this wine which was around at Christmas time. And, and I would say get yourself down and get some because they will reduce it. They reduced it last year. It's 15 pounds, it's 14.99. It's a, a Pilaretti ice wine from Canada. It's an, okay. um, and this is a Riesling one. They also are stopping a Cabernet Franc. Um, this is great stuff and I bought some last year. I also bought some Trockenbeer and Auslis last year, which is a German sweet wine and they don't have it this year. And I'm like, got it, I didn't buy more last year. Um, but this is £15 right now, 10% alcohol, it's a beautiful sweet wine, you can keep it for years and years. Um, ice wine, I, I'm in love with, I love ice wine, Canadian ice, especially Canadian ice wine. Um, you know that. Yes, I do. You do, because we've had some lovely sparkling um, Canadian ice wine, haven't we? Mm -hmm. um, and it's from Niagara, but they have oh. this right now, it's 14 99 Keep an eye over the next week or two, because it will be reduced, I mean it could be reduced tomorrow, and they'll sell it off half price. I bought a few bottles last year half price. Um, so and what would you drink that with? Again, it's a dessert wine, cheese. Che great with cheese. If you don't like cheese, apple, you know, apple pie. Um, on its own, God, on its own, you know, like as a, you know, you know, if you were having an Italian meal, you'd have a limoncello, like, have a Canadian meal, have a, <laughs> no, but have a, you know, after dinner drink. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a beautifully made. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, they crush these grapes, you know, in December and January when they're frozen and they retain all that beautiful sweetness and that gourd. I, I just love ice wine. And ice wine isn't really easy to get hold of. Is that of why they're called ice wine? Yeah, because they, they wait till the grapes freeze and then they, um, they crush them. Hmm. Yeah. Um, and you can't get it. Like, okay, you can get Canadian ice wine every year and Germany make it, but it's it's not very common. And that's why I, I like Little Analty because they do come out with these wines and bring us these wines that you wouldn't normally get. So I would buy it, it's unusual, it's different, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and I would, you know, 
and I'm going to go back and get the Cabernet Franc. I actually thought I had a Cabernet Franc and I looked today and I didn't. Anyway, this is the Riesling one, so go and get it. Mm. Little. The only good thing I can say about Little right now. Sorry, Little. But your wine is shite. Um, so just... And you were a big fan of Little too. So you're feeling betrayed. Well, this betrayed. is the thing. I feel a bit betrayed. They, yeah. Like, I like Little wine. They, they, you know, they always seem to have... They always have something, you know. They did a, a really good Hungarian push and they had some lovely sweet Hungarian wine and some dry ferment as well. And, and then they do this at Christmas and um, January, just have nothing. They've, let, they've let me down, Sharon. Have some more wine. Thank you. So, mm. so moving on. Mm. Um, let's talk about Tesco's. Yes. So Tesco's is, is interesting because Tesco can have... Tesco, I feel, goes through... Spikes and troughs okay. of their wine supply. And actually, it's not too bad right now. They have a lot of discounts at the moment in Tesco's. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't buy all the discounts to, to show you them because I didn't have the money. <laughs> and the wines I did buy in Tesco's, there was no discount on. <laughs> but they did have... What I'm really pleased to see is Tesco's are now stocking English sparkling wine. And I'm a big fan of English sparkling wine. They have Chapel Down, which is great. And they have a wine that's been made for them... Um, by another English wine producer that's been made specifically for their Is finest it? range. Yeah, and, and I think it's great because English sparkling wine have taken the challenge of competing with champagne and they're doing a really bloody good job of it. And they're producing champagne blends and they're producing uh, fantastic wines. And anybody who slags um, English wine like Marco Pierre White stupid in my opinion okay yeah he did um so they're they're produced they're did um, he yeah he just totally he totally marco pierre white this year like last year mm -hmm. had a big rant about british wine and how rubbish it was and he was stocking it on his menus in some of his restaurants <gasps> big faux pas um you've had some english wine did you like have you had tried some english wine i probably have we have to do an English wine night. Why do we do an English wine vlog? Oh my god, that'd be so good. So let's do that next time. Okay, yeah. great. Great, because I have a really nice, I have some really nice stuff in the garage. Uh -huh. I shouldn't say that for the locals, should I? It's in the garage. <laughs> it's in the cellar. Okay, so Tesco's. Um, Tesco's is, has been, re I look today, they have the usual, you know, mass produced stuff, but they had some really good stuff today as well. They had some, um, Okay, I'm going to show you. It's not reduced, but I really like this Tim Adams. It's Claire Value Tim, Tim Adams Semillon. This is quite oaked, um, and it's quite a, a strong flavoured wine, so if you don't like that, you're not going to like this. Um, they, they have skin contact. The grapes, it's a white wine, but it has skin contact with the skins. The grape juice has skin has contact with the skins for about 12 hours, so it does produce quite a strong tasting wine. Um, it's is lovely. that what it does? Is that is that different than how they usually produce it? Yeah, because red wine always has the skin contact, and it's very okay. unusual for white wine unless you're making what's called an orange wine or a natural wine. Oh um, right, I've never heard of an orange wine. It's not really orange, but they call it. It's really natural wine, but the kind of nickname is called orange wine. Okay. Yeah, so it's it's very popular in the Friuli region of Italy, but also Georgia, in the next to Azerbaijan and next to mm. kind of Iran produces a lot of orange wine and it's just a stronger taste it's a stronger taste and it's natural so they don't use any kind of chemicals um, and the problem with that or, or they use like natural um, fermentation process okay. and, and ferment in like concrete um, or clay but the problem with that is they can be contaminated quite easily yeah um, so that's really what natural wine is and there's, there's a big movement right now towards natural orange wine um some of which is good some of which is horrendous is that this is not a natural okay. wine it's just as they have um they have had skin talk it, they have left the grapes in contact the juice in contact with the skins okay. which they do so also similar. in argentina uh, not really because they'll have used um proper wine making processes and um, they do that sometimes with torrentes in argentina as well but this mm. this this wine is great it's tim adams semillon um I'm getting you up tension. I know. Sorry. Sharon get, always gets me. You always get me up tension. That's fine. I haven't earned uh, my wine tonight. Oh, well, you brought it, so it's fine. <laughs> Have some more. Have some more wine. I'm talking about the wine I'm taking when you're not looking. Oh, God. She's so well. She'll be in that cupboard in no time. No time. But I, I love this wine. Um, friends of mine haven't liked it so much. Um, it is quite strong tasting, but it's about a tenner. 
um, and it's from the Clare Valley. So uh, Tim Adams is a really good producer. And I would mm. totally invest in this. Totally go to Tesco's. If you don't know what to drink this weekend, go and get this. It's great on its own. It's great with food. Um, it's a big wine. It's a big white wine. So have a go with it. See what you think. And let me know. As always, I'm a fan of American Pinot Noir, especially from um, the Willamette Valley. And we have Primarius, £9.50 in Tesco's as well. Um, I do, I'm going to talk a minute, in a minute about Costco and Costco have a great Pinot Noir at the moment as well. But I love the East Coast Pinot Noirs of America. Sorry, West Coast. West yeah. West Coast and £9.50. Mm -hmm. Go and get yourself some. It's lovely. Um, so before I move on to an, any other shops as such, um, let's talk a little bit briefly about Asda. Okay. Okay, so... <sighs> Asda, um, it's just not very good for... <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, that's really surprising yeah, me. Yeah, well, no, it's not. Um, it surprises you. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it does, sorry. It does. Oh, I'm sure. um, No, I just thought, you know, is it that Asda's really mainstream? Yeah, it's very... Asda's very mainstream, but they don't tend to go down the route of providing... Like, if you look at Italian ones, they don't have... They'll go down the IGP wine, which is fine, which means, you know, it's an, it, it's not a classified wine. And, and if they do classify, it's on the lower side of classification. Um, okay. The Prosecco's terrible. Their yellow Asda Prosecco for £5, £6. It's shocking. I mean, it's shocking. Put that, stand that up next to what Tesco has. Tesco's got a Prosecco right now, which is a, a Val de Viadin Prosecco. It's got a silver label. It's Tesco finest. It's reduced from £10 to £8. And it's streets ahead of the yellow label um, five, six pound Tesco contribution. Okay. So, uh, I just, they just don't seem to have, I mean, every so often you get a nice wine from Asda, or you, you know, they, they go out and they go, oh, we'll have a little, you know, but no. Nothing. Um, oh, I'm really nice, surprised they, I mean, because there's such a huge like, selection. Yeah, they do, and they'll do some nice Riochas, and they'll do, they'll do things like, sometimes they'll do like Brancot Estate from New Zealand, Marlborough mm -hmm. Sauvignon Blanc, so, but they do, like, they do have some okay stuff but there's nothing that's outstanding there's nothing that like would stand out and grab you there's no reason to go and shop in Asda for their wine okay um if you're looking for wine or go in the supermarket i would go and shop a little aldi tesco's and morrison's Sainsbury's. yeah totally um Asda would be the bottom of the list oh wow yeah totally bottom of the list that really shocks me so yeah. which would be on the top of the list or which view oh, would be on the top waitress but i <laughs> we've got waitress sellers so um it depends it it, it this is the thing about supermarket wines, peaks and troughs, like I said. Mm -hmm. Some supermarkets can be great at certain times of year. Um, I mean, Little were fantastic earlier in the year. Like this time last year, Little were great. They had, February last year, they had. Um, I they remember. Were, yeah, they were doing like some amazing burgundy, yeah. um, Haute Côte de Beaune, Haute Côte de Nuit. Um, they had some fantastic burgundy wines. They had some, they just were doing really well with the mm -hmm. French wines. And then they, they did a Hungarian. Um, Drive, which was really good, and they did they did a an Austrian German drive, which was really good, um, and now they've just kind of thrown all the balls. Maybe it's just our local littles. I don't know, mm -hmm. but they've thrown all the balls in the air. I don't care right now. And Aldi has been rubbish over kind of the summer. Um, they're really good coming up to the summer. I thought they were rubbish over the summer. Now they've kind of picked back up again. So it seems to come up and down, up and down. Um, Tesco's aren't so bad, you know. Tesco's have some shite as well, but they also have. They have a really good rosé section, which I like. Okay. They are looking at good Provence rosés, um, good drinking stuff. They also have the cheap, you know, Central Valley Californian stuff. Um, but they... <laughs> yeah, but no, it is cheap. Yeah, it's cheap yeah, rubbish, it's cheap. basically. Mm -hmm. um, but they are doing some nice French stuff. Um, mm -hmm. They have like Burn, which is a really good um, producer of rosé. And, you know, and, and that stuff will sell really well in the summer. So I'm nice stocking in the winter as well, which I like, because people have different tastes and um so tesco's are doing pretty well in my opinion right now um so let's move on before i um i get dry mouth and <laughs> sharon hasn't got a word in edgeways tonight um i'm gonna talk about, i'm gonna talk about costco oh i love costco <sighs> what do you love about costco i love everything about costco yeah like, like i would love to be their voice i would love to be their poster child i would Is love you? oh god i love costco Problem is with Costco though, you go in for like a gallon of milk and yeah. you come out with a sofa. <laughs> you know. 300 pounds later. And you don't need the sofa and you have no way to get it home. Oh. Let me just show you what, I bought, from what I bought yesterday in Costco. Okay. 
Have mm-hmm. another drink. All right. Drink. Go to the fridge and show mm-hmm. you what it costs. You're going to laugh at me. Totally laugh at me. What? <laughs> I bought this in Costco. I have to say, her husband works away. <laughs> what? That's it's like a pretend to be God. What is this? This is um, loin, pork loin. That was only, that was less than, that was eight, what's that? 18 pounds? 18 oh, pounds? This. Yeah, yeah, I'll do like that, you know, that French dish I do. And, um, yeah, it's good, isn't it? She'll just do that French dish she does. What French dish do you do? Why do you not like a pork normandy thing? Okay. You, I never made that for you. No. But that's how we love She Costco. makes me dietary food. She makes me low-cal. Let's it's think so about funny. this. <laughs> I want the saucy stuff. The sausage stuff. I want it. <laughs> I hope you can edit this. I want the, the thick sauce. <laughs> okay, let's go on. So that was from Costco, so let's talk about Costco so what wines. Would you, what would you put with that? With pork. Yeah. I would totally have that chori de bone, the short chori, chori de bone. Where's it gone? The one you, you nicked over there because it's light, it's a light peanut noir. But you could also have white The one it. that's made into my very large handbag. Big. <laughs> <laughs> She's slapping, <laughs> totally slapping that wine over there. I'll give it back. No, no, yeah. I would have this with pork. This one with pork. Mm-hmm. This is Aldi, pork tenner, I would do it. And um, also, mm-hmm. uh, you could have a white, you could have a big white. You could have you could have this semillon. That would be great with it as well. Okay. Um, depending on how you're cooking it. Okay, so let's move on really, really quickly to Costco. We're fans of Costco, as you've already Love noticed. Costco. Okay, so I bought this Kung Fu Girl. In Costco. Is that where you bought yes. it from? Yes. However, okay, you know Phoenix. I would buy this just because it's it says Kung it's Fu great. Girl. But they have other like funky labels for other wines that they do. So it's it's called Charles Smith wines, but um. This is available. <laughs> I was like, so because you know, it's the Chinese New Year, February sixteenth. Ah, sure. Yeah. So, um, because we're in the northeast and we're in Newcastle, mm. um, there's a big store here called Phoenix, um, and Phoenix stuck this in their enigmatic, enigmatic machine where you can pay some money and you can like it's like a siphoning machine or. Oh, like I a, didn't realize that. Yeah, but this I think they charge seventeen pounds a bottle for that. I paid a tenner for it in Costco. There you go. This is, this is a fantastic Riesling. It's lovely. It's really nice. It's what you would expect from a um, from Washington. From Do you know that, that sofa that I left in front of Costco? I'm going to buy that and have it. And you can join me. And I'll buy a TV oh, nice. and oh. we'll just set yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> With no way to get it back home. We just sit in, oh, sit in Costco and drink it. And they have the free little samples. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We have our dinner and everything. We could do wine vlog from Costco. Oh, let's do it. And do all the samples. He's up for a wine vlog from Costco. Hey. We are. On the sofa that we've left outside. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and we have wine fridges. But the wine fridge went up £100 since before Christmas to after Christmas. I was very disappointed. The big one. Oh. Other big um, Costco saving. This is this, this a lot. This is called Ridgeview. Ridgeview Bloomsbury Breach. This is an English sparkling wine. Um, it's from South Downs in Sussex. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't get enough of South Downs um, sparkling wine at the moment. This is great, great, great champagne blend. This is works out just under twenty pounds or so at Costco, including including VAT. Mm-hmm. Everywhere else I've looked, this is between twenty four and twenty seven pounds. So it's a bargain. It's an absolute bargain. And this is amazing. It's beautiful. It's complex. It's lovely. It's got lovely. It, it's a champagne blend. It's giving champagne a run for its money at the moment. It's called Ridgeview Bloomsbury, um, another English wine. That's from Costco. Um, this lovely Kung Fu Girl is from Costco. And we have I've also picked up a, um, they also do a lovely Louis Latour um, saint Véran, which is a, a wine from the southern, southern part of Burgundy. And that's lovely, it's a white wine, it's lovely. Um, and they do an amazing um, Joseph Drahin and Willamette Valley um, Pinot Noir, which is about £17.99. Seems expensive, but how much would you spend in a pub on three drinks? Probably that, or two drinks. Mm. Probably that. Um, it's beautiful Pinot Noir, um, and Joseph Drahin is a big producer in the in the Rhone as well. So okay. he's gone to Oregon and he's producing these lovely Pinot Noirs there too. So that is my lineup for supermarkets this weekend. Um, top supermarkets probably Aldi, followed by Costco, um, Tesco's, and then Little. Um, that would be it, I guess. And you've had a lovely Sainsbury's wine as well. Yes. So, I like Sainsbury's um, I think wine. I might maybe just try and do a top 10 like every few weeks or something. That would be nice. Yeah. 
Mm. Okay. Mm. From I'm going to get you so that good. organic wine because it's really good, the Sainsbury one. Yeah. Mm. So maybe we should just do like organic wines the next time. Uh, that would be great. Or wines or... I haven't been able to find many organic wines. That's why I was quite well, excited. Well, there's a winery. That, oh, I was saying to Sharon earlier, um, wineries in, in um, Alsace region of France, I mean, they're all organic, mm. um, predominantly biodynamic as well, and most of the Loire Valley wines are organic as well, just because they don't state it on it doesn't mean they aren't. But also there's some great wines coming out of England. There's a winery called Davenport Wineries, um, and they're based down in Kent and their, their wines are all organic. And he does adopt biodynamic principles with some of the wine production as well. So and who is this guy? He's called Will Davenport and the winery's called what, Davenport Wineries. And okay. they, produce, they produce a Pinot Noir and they produce Oxaro um, sparkling wine and they produce um, a, a, a blended white wine of, of five different uh, German grapes. And it's, yeah. it's beautiful, beautiful white wine. But his, his practices, it's called Davenport Wineries and his practices are all organic and sometimes biodynamic but he's just an example of what you can get with English wine English wine is very organic it's very well produced and it's giving champagne and all these reasons around for the money okay but god we've spoken loads well yeah. I've spoken loads you've hardly spoken any I'm trying to get everything in you did a fine job Leah a fine job dry January's over yay I'm glad <laughs> oh. so I think I think the next time maybe we should like maybe go down a supermarket aisle or something you can have the camera and I'll uh, talk or something <laughs> That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Why don't you give us some suggestions? Yes, good Tell idea. Tell us what you think would be a good idea. It's a great idea. Um, mm. So anyway, we're going to go because it's been it's half an hour already. We're chatting for half an hour. So um, this is I'm Leah. This is I'm Sharon. Um, happy Friday. Happy and, Friday. Um, thank you for listening. And Sharon. And my husband's locked out of the house. Oh, is he? <laughs> Did he text you? Yeah, but it's quite <laughs> funny. Oh, that's great. Right, okay. We're back all Sharon's husband. Bye. <laughs>